Good grapes. Well, never mind. On this puzzle, uh, a block is moving first, and we are down a pond. Now, uh, now, uh, we can obviously take White's fish up, but our rug is also under attack. So, well, the first idea might, might be, well, we can swap rooks or trade rooks. But after that, we well, might think, well, this king is a little vulnerable, so we can check in. But, um, there's not much since, well, black, oh, white can simply hide on a7. But if he dares go back, well, then, of course, you can fork him. So he's not going to go there. He's going to go to a7. And, yeah, sure, he can get this one. But then, white can easily take that. And black takes the g5 pawn and, well, not much can come out of this position. So, the, so, if you think about it, what it can really do is kind of ignore the threats. It, it's just kind of, kind of like a little tactic, you're just ignoring the threat. Kind of like by like taking the bishop, you're first opening a bishop, and second, you're actually kind of protecting your rook, since, well, f of course, what's going to take your rook? What else are you going to do? Um, so, well, now I can see that, that white, what has been seen is that his king and rook Oh, well, first of all, the rook is unguarded, its king is vulnerable, and they are on the same diagonal. So that leads us to think queen to e4 check, forking the king and the rook, and wherever the king goes, here it doesn't matter. We can take the rook and we are up an entire piece, and black should win.